Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to allow your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac, which is new in OS X, or actually, sorry, let me correct myself, Mac OS Sierra um, and Watch OS 3. First things first, we need to go to System Preferences. And from there, we're going to go to Security and Privacy. And from there, you're going to see an option which says, allow your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. Right, oh, right there. Anyways, um, so you're going to want to click that, but what it's going to ask you to do is uh, enable two-factor authentication on your Mac. Um, and what that is, essentially, you can just go right here. Um, if you go down to security in your iCloud settings, that is, uh, you'll see I have two-factor authentication turned on. But um, in order to turn on, it's going to send you to your Apple ID page, and so you're going to have to log in. And, um, so you log into your Apple ID. Two-factor authentication, your Apple ID, that's fine, I allow it. So you can see on my Mac, it's a very clean solution for two-factor authentication, I think. Um, it shows you location from where, pops right up on your Mac, and, or phone, wherever you're doing it from. Gives you a code, you can put right in. Um, and from here, you're going to see a bunch of information. And then when you get to security, you're going to see two-factor authentication. Obviously, mine's on, so I'm not going to turn that off again, but uh, it's be right here where you'd have to enable two-factor authentication. So that's adding your phone number, if you didn't already, which you probably did, and it's just setting up codes um, to keep your account more secure. A little bit more on how this works. So I just do this. I come back, and you can see it unlocking with Apple Watch. So when you, and then you also get a notification on your watch, it taps your wrist if you enable um, haptic feedback and saying Mac unlock, Alexander's iMac uh, was unlocked with Apple Watch. So the Apple Watch is pretty, uh, you'd also need to enable, if you didn't already, a passcode on your watch. So every time it comes even slightly off your wrist, it locks itself. Um, that way it knows who you are. And so of course you have to put your password back in. And when you do that, it knows who you are. So um, the watch it, the method is essentially just as secure as using your password to log into your Mac because you need to know your watch's password and it's not like it can be transferred from one wrist to the other because any separation more than like a millimeter or two from your wrist is going to lock the watch down so um, it's just as secure obviously you don't have to enable this feature it does not come pre-enabled it's something that you have to do yourself but it is a very nice feature and i highly recommend enabling it just out of convenience if you have an apple watch Alright, see you guys next time with another Mac Tips video.